Guys, welcome back to Technique Tuesday. You're wondering, Stephen, why are you outside? We are right outside the Upstate Karate, the new Upstate Karate Pitch Black facility. We can't show you that quite yet. That's gonna be a whole video on its own for you guys coming soon. We are right outside here, and we're gonna be talking about a cool technique, exciting technique called the Spin Back Fist. All right, guys, so let's get into this technique. This technique is being thrown a lot in combat sports. Paul Felder is notorious for throwing it. He's got a great spin back fist, spin hammer fist. John Jones is also notorious for throwing a spin back fist and uh, spin elbows. So all of these can kind of flow together. So if you're working on one, you'll be good at all of them. The one thing I see all the time on the spin back fist, people telegraphing it like crazy. What I mean by that is people will actually start moving their feet before they get the technique off. If you've got a good spin back fist, good hammer fist or spin elbow, the technique will go first. When you're doing the spin technique, you don't want to step first, then throw the technique. Your partner will see it coming a mile away. So you don't want to step and then throw the technique. So you don't want your feet to move first. Technique moves first. The one thing that I like to do is I get in front of the bag or I'll have somebody hold this for me. What I'll do is I work on just spinning. My feet stay right where they are and I spin. I try to get my head around first so I'm able to see my target. So I spin. Then that's when my technique comes. Then my fighting stance comes in, and then that's when my technique comes. Then I can start adding it on. So I'll be in my fighting stance, I'll spin. My spin hammer fist, spin back fist, or spin elbow will land. Then I step to follow up with something else. So make sure the technique gets around first. All right, now I'm gonna show this real time so you know who I gotta call. Sweet T, get out here. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got. Don't put it on your hand. Other hand. Perfect. All right, so we got the technique out there. Now, like I said, this could be a spin back fist, spin hammer fist, spin elbow. Now, like I said before, you don't want to step first, you want to get the head around, the, the technique around before you step. So, I'm gonna do the spin hammer fist. So what I do is I see my target, I like to start in a bounce, I'll spin, my technique lands, then I step. Then I step. So my technique lands actually before my foot hits the ground. Let me show you again. Now it could also be a spin back fist, spin hammer fist, or close range, spin elbow. I've seen a lot of knockouts of those before too. Very good knock, spin elbows are deadly. You watch, I spin, my technique lands, then I step forward. So I'm here, boom, then I step. Now, a lot of people have many different ways to set this technique up. Uh, put that down, Tony, put it down, right now, drop it. You okay? One way to set up this devastating technique. So I drop my hands down a little bit to get this guy to jab. Now, some people will use that to spin off of it, because a lot of times when people jab, the backhand drops, and this is open here, here. Okay, where you want to hit, right there. I'll wait for him to jab, I'll spin, my backhand technique lands, could be a spin elbow, depending on how close you are. If he stands still, you can hit him with a spin back there. If the guy moves forward, boom, spin elbow all day. <laughs> all right, so there you have it, throwing a little bit of technique on the target, throwing my technique on Mr. my, my, my bro, Sweet T aka the Greek Baker, aka the Greek Candlestick Maker. Fighting stance, I can spin hammer fist to the jaw, here. Spin back fist to the jugular, here. Spin elbow, here to the groin, then come back up high, uppercutting it, coming back down with the dropping elbow, killing him instantly the next day. All right, just know that it takes a lot of practice really to develop this technique to where it has no tell. Now, the spin technique is very powerful technique, just like a spin hook kick, but done with your arm. So you can generate a lot of power, a lot of torque in these techniques, and you can do a lot of damage, even when your partner has their hands up. So practice this technique on a heavy bag, please. But awesome, great technique to practice, especially in the gym when you're sparring. Just know that it, it, it can cause a lot of damage so be careful doing this with your sparring partner so thank you guys for coming out and joining us keeping it short and sweet tonight we got a lot of stuff to do we're moving in uh to our new facility so we're taking a lot, all of our stuff moving out of our old facility into our new facility so sorry for keeping it short thank you guys for coming out and joining us on this beautiful night so thank you guys for coming out make sure you hit that subscribe button throw some likes comments down below remember hit that 100,000 mark 
We're close, we're close, y'all. So get your friends, your family to subscribe. We'll be giving you guys that spin thrust kick and the side thrust kick coming at you. So make sure that we get there, all right? Catch you on the flip side. Peace!